Welcome to Mr. Jesse's video tutorial in physics. We have this problem. A 1 microfarad capacitor is charged by being connected to a 9 volt battery. Then it is disconnected from the battery and connected across an uncharged 6 microfarad capacitor. Determine the resulting charge on each capacitor. So initially we have a 1 microfarad capacitor connected to a 9 volt battery. Therefore, we can actually solve for the charge stored that for the charge that is stored in this 1 microfarad capacitor by simply using the formula that the charge stored or Q is equal to um, capacitance multiplied by the potential difference. In this case, the initial charge stored is equal to 1 microfarad multiplied by the potential difference which is 9 volts and then we can have 9 micro coulomb okay let's set it aside and then this charged capacitor is then disconnected from the battery and connected across an uncharged 6 microfarad capacitor. So let us draw the illustration. This is our charged capacitor and it is now connected to an uncharged capacitor. And we have to take note that the original capacitor is disconnected from the battery. When we say disconnected, this means that Q is constant. However, when a charged capacitor is connected to an uncharged capacitor, the charges are actually going to orient themselves or to rearrange themselves so that the charged capacitor, and in this case, that would be C1 or the 1 microfarad capacitor. So the charges from the 1 microfarad capacitor, some of them are also going to go to the uncharged 6 microfarad capacitor, or we call it C6. However, we should know that the charge in the 1 microfarad capacitor plus the charge in the 6 microfarad capacitor, or Q6, should be equal to the initial charge Q. And in this case, since charges are being added, therefore, we can actually conclude that C1 and C6 are connected in parallel, are in parallel. Okay. Then we could solve for the total capacitance of the combination by simply adding the capacitance 1 and capacitance 6 so we will have the total capacitance we call it CT is just equal to C1 plus C6 and in this case that, that is equal to um, 1 microfarad plus 6 microfarad would give us 7 micro and let's set this aside okay now that we have our CT we have CT and we also have our QT then we could actually solve for VT by simply dividing the total charge QT divided by the total capacitance CT and in this case that is equal to 9 microcoulomb divided by 7 microfarad would give us 9 over 7 volts. Now remember that when capacitors are connected in parallel the total voltage would just be equal to the voltage of each of the capacitors that are connected in parallel so therefore VT is just equal to V1 or the voltage across capacitor 1 and that would just be equal 
to V6 or the voltage across capacitor 6. So, since we have the value of capacitance 1, and we also have the voltage of capacitance 1, then therefore, we could actually solve for Q1 by simply multiplying C1 and V1. Also, since we already have the value of C6, or the capacitor of the 6 microfarad capacitor, and the voltage across the 6 microfarad capacitor, then we could also solve for Q6, and that is just equal to C6 multiplied by the voltage across the 6 microfarad capacitor. Then we have answered our problem. Thank you.